Hello world, welcome to Inbank Some Filtered, where I talk about almost anything. This video will be celeb stuff three. Just some, uh, I guess some some things on Tom Hanks that uh, makes me think a lot of these alleged stuffs is uh, true. But if not, let's just say alleged for, you know, whoever loves celebrities a lot. We'll just keep it open but uh i feel like if we was in a court of law and there was an unbiased non-freemasonic satanic judge and uh, jury and da or whatever i think time hangs to be out of there but uh here we go all right here go a weird ass moment from his little jimmy kimmel skit where he doing toddlers and tiaras with his six-year-old daughter of course she had to be six and of course jimmy kimmel does his uh show in a satanic masonic building but all right Excited because my daughter Sophie and I are competing in the Miss Ultimate Sexy Baby Nevada. Ultimate Sexy Baby, all right, hold on, hold on, okay, right there, Sexy Baby, right there, okay, I'm like, uh, something pedophilic goes off in my mind, but hold on, I, I got some more, hold on. Ugh, and then of course his daughter got bosom baby on her shirt, all right, hold on, hold on, there's some more. And then right here, I know it's funny because she goes and eat a cookie, but what he says. Swimsuit competition for six-year-old girls? All right, well, there's some more. Hold on. All right, and then here's an alleged Epstein flight log. Uh, I'm sure you see a lot of your favorite so-and-sos and probably don't believe it, but uh, whatever. I wish we could have a, you know, a true psychic mind reader to get into the minds of some of these motherfuckers, and then we'll get the real truth. But it's funny because I think Jimmy Kimmel's on there, Andy. Let me see. Yeah, Jimmy Kimmel right there. But uh, Tom is, boom. So there's that on the Epstein flight log. So that patient shit, sexy baby, and bosom baby bullshit. And then on this alleged flight log. But let me see here. some more. And I believe around early 2020, or should I guess mid 2020, Tom gets a Greek citizenship. Why is that so important? Wait, what does that got to do? Baby, baby, baby. For the closed minded creatures. All right, so. They get Greek citizenship, and what does Greek label pedophilia as? Not Greek. Greece declares pedophilia a disability. <laughs> and that was in, what, 2012, or at least this was from 2012. And so it's like, well, the reason, this is one of the reasons Greece and Rome fail, motherfuckers, but y'all don't want to really get into that, though. Uh, but yeah, just so ironic around the Epstein stuff, when that started popping off, he goes and gets dual citizenship in Pedoland. But, no, oh, wait, hold on, there's some more. <laughs> so, boom, some of these movies that he was in. All right, so you got News of the World right here in the middle, which is, it came out right around the news of the Epstein stuff came out. And I'm like, that's crazy that News of the World got this dude and on the front got an underage girl. And that's just crazy. that t The title of the movie and the timing of it, I'm like, all right. Then, of course, he plays... Uh, Walt Needis in that Saving Mr. Banks, which I hate my last name is Banks, but man, fuck these last names. But it's just so ironic that, you know, he plays Walt Needis. And then in Walt D Needis' uh, this uh, live action Pinocchio coming out, he plays who? Geppetto File. <laughs> I know y'all call it Geppetto or whatever. I'm like, man, fuck that. An uh, old man to me, if I'm old, I would want, you know, a woman. But with his name having pedo and he wants a boy, a young boy, to me, I don't give a damn with the story. Oh, well, he loves, I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm thinking of the sinister writers that got some behind the curtain thinking going on with that shit, you know? And I'm like, well, nigga, if you want a boy, get pedo out your name then. Like, just be juh. Why you gotta have pedo in your name? Because now I go straight to pedo vile, motherfucker. And you want a boy? Nigga, come on, man. Come on, man. And then in Polar Express, you know, he plays... Krampus, aka Saint Nick, which Nick means devil, so you know, Serapis, Saturn, Santa, the same letters in Santa is Satan, but anyways, in Polar Express, Tom Cruise plays all these, and it's just funny, oh, you gotta train the kids, huh, you gotta train full of kids, and you go, okay, there you are with the kids again, motherfucker, you know, but that's crazy, and then up here, in the new Elvis movie, it's like, of course they would have Tom in Elvis, which uh, I heard Elvis liked him young. At least that's what I heard in the streets. Uh, let me see. All right, what do we got? King of Rock and Roll. Elvis Presley was a pedophile and had girlfriends as young as 14. While he was on tour. While he was on tour age 22, a book claimed. So maybe the book is lying, huh? huh? All that Germany bullshit. 
yeah, during his army career when she was just 14, you know. So, maybe Elvis wasn't, but I got a huge feeling goddamn near all the fucking rock stars had something to do with something, you know. But just for Tom Cruise to be in Elvis, I'm just like, I mean Tom Cruise, damn. Not the Scientology cunt. <laughs> this uh, alleged pedophile probably cunt. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's just so ironic that Tom Hanks plays like, I guess in the trailer it looked like he played Elvis's little manager or, I don't know, little gatherer dude or whatever. Whatever the fuck, you know, publicist, whatever the fuck you want to call it. But yeah, just a little something, something on Celeb Stuff 3. <laughs> I should have made it Conspiracy 21 or WTF. 11 or whatever number, but I'm like, yeah, I'll put that in celebrity stuff, but, uh, yeah, maybe, maybe it's all, maybe I'm over that, you know, I'm like, fuck that, man, motherfucker on this and got a great citizenship and they didn't this and all, I'm like, bro, like, I, I don't know, like, I, I feel like a lot of motherfuckers out here will be horrible detectives and they'll be the type of cop that just work the traffic all day and just flagging people to go this way and that way and shit, you know, that like, man, a lot of y'all make horrible detectives in these streets, but may, maybe, maybe it's all just... An incredible coincidence, you know. Like, God damn, how many, how many incredible coincidences is it until like shit is obvious? But hey, man, it's all alleged because the courts, the courts didn't say y'all burped up. Now, like, y'all sound just like those parents of that R. Kelly shit when uh, they sent their daughter to go get R. Kelly'd up, and we're saying, well, the courts never uh, said that he was so and so. Y'all waiting on these bullshit ass, crooked ass courts to verify some shit that. Probably in your soul or spirit could be like, oh, this motherfucker is probably not as good as it seems due to, even though he makes good music. So, even though Tom Cruise is good in movies, <laughs> I'm like, mm, he's probably one of the most evilest motherfuckers out here in these streets that involve the, or that's involved with the child horn bullshit, you know. But maybe not. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, other than that, uh, y'all be cool. Keep your stress low. Don't be scared of nothing. Be prepared for everything. Peace.